things that I probably could be doing, but I'm just not. And I know it's going to be it's more of a cultural change as well as also as, like, education. Oh, for sure. I was just on, um, on the Young Turks this morning on um, TYT University, which is John Iadero one of John Iadarola's shows. And I'm not sure if any – it was live. They live-streamed it, but I'm not sure they started putting out the clips yet. And we talked about that. I talked about that recently on the Rubin Report, how tough it is – to make these specific changes when it kind of feels like the deck is stacked against you, like when you're like, I don't want to use consumer single-use consumer plastics. I know they're bad for the environment, but it's hard to find alternatives. And so, generally speaking, like I drink. Okay, like I'll admit it. I love Coca-Cola. It's horrible, but I love it. And I almost always drink it. I like the Mexican Coke with the cane sugar instead of the high fructose corn syrup, um, and I, that's in glass bottles, or I drink it out of cans. Like, as a rule, I've decided this, but there are definitely times if I'm on a road trip or something, and I need water, and it's like the only way to get water is to drink bottled water, and you go to the grocery store or the, the convenience store, and there's no glass bottled water. There's no boxed water. Mm -hmm. You have to buy it in a plastic bottle because there's no federal regulations on this. There's, there's no uh, push from from kind of corporations, from, from crony capitalism, to because the truth is there's always going to be a profit motive to, to make decisions that are in the best interest of, like I said, the profits. And so we as consumers are going to suffer because we're just not going to have the options that are available to us that we should have available to us. And, of course, there are things that I should be doing more. People on the show this morning were asking, why do you still eat meat? Don't you know that eating meat heavily contributes to climate change? Of course I do. I'd love to change that. It's something I think about a lot. I'm not there yet. I know I'm not doing my part, and I'm the first to admit that, which is the reason that I don't ever go on air and, like, get high and mighty, or at least I try not to because I'm not, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes, too. And, you know, it's like we're all working on them in, in time, but I think the important thing is to just be as mindful as we can and hopefully do some activism on the side if we can afford to so that, we can start seeing bigger shifts, but they, you're right, they have to be cultural shifts. They can't, you know, I mean, it's got to be both. It's got to be grassroots. It's got to be, I'm a single person and I'm affecting change, but also you've got to see, like, major, I think, societal, cultural shifts. 